Hey guys, Poster, welcome back to another Joshua Live video, and today we're gonna go ahead and create the, um, Alraptor thing, I guess. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, let's do that. Um, last fuse gave me a 10 when I need a 20, and now they gave me a 40. You know, just regular fusion rates <laughs> stuff, right? So anyways, let's go ahead and, and create this. And, uh, is this like Paramalot colors? <laughs> This is a pair of colors, kind of, sort of, right? I don't know. I like it. It's pretty cool for the most part. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I can't really say anything bad about it per se. It's it's pretty cool. Let's see. It's uh, animation. Okay, it's got raptor animation. And it's around. It's a, it looks, it's a slightly larger raptor. raptor right? it, look, it just looks like a raptor with a slightly larger head, <laughs> which is fine. Which is fine. Which is fine, right? It looks great. It looks great. So, anyways, uh, let's just get into its stats and all that stuff real quick. So, it has 3,600 HP, 1,350 damage, 126 speed, 10% crit. Uh, really, really garbage stats, honestly. Probably, you know, one of the, in terms of stats, one of the worst um, dinos in the game in terms of stats. But, it does make up with a decent move set for the most part. Um, has distraction, pounce, rending takedown, definite impact. Immune to decel, immune to swap uh, prevention. So the only reason why this isn't like a trash tier dino is because of immune to decel. Really, really saves it, and the actually slightly more than three thousand HP. So if it was like, if it was like three thousand HP, it would be screwed. Like if it even if, even if they gave it more damage for the HP, the HP kind of saves it, and also the the immune to decel saves it. If if it didn't have immune to decel and still had you know three point six k HP, it would be trash. Right, um, so immune to decel really, really saves this dino from being like utter garbage tier. Um, so this is very, very important for it, right? So overall, it has a decent move set, right? A uh, pounce and an impact, and rending takedown, which is okay, because rending takedown usually, um, you know, when it's put on high base damage dinos, it's not really effective. But it's really effective when you have it on lowered mid base damage dinos like Alloraptor, right? Alloraptor doesn't really have too much damage. Um, and, and, and it's a base damage, right? So it's not a terrible move to have, right? Pounce into rending takedown. That should do a lot of damage, right? And also, again, pounce the uh, damage reduction, so that helps its HP situation as well. And since it can't be decelled, Superior Strike won't, uh, won't, uh, destroy it that much, right? As it would, like, every other Raptor in the game. So, anyways, um, decent set and all that, so let's go ahead and have some fun with it. Uh, let's find, so it's level 16, right? So let's find a stage where we need... Level 16s, around level 16s. Uh, maybe prowess. Prowess. Uh, let, let's check the uh, the first. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Definitely not this. Um, counter. Prowess part two, maybe. Let's see what the uh, levels are over here. Prow prowess part two. Okay, okay. This should, yeah, yeah, yeah. The these two dinos are are a decent example of. Uh, you know, when, when using, whatchamacallit, right? And why did I throw in that? It's throwing something stronger. Um, oh, we actually can't use <laughs> Alraptor, unfortunately. It has, has to have a swap of that. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Um, does this also... Do these all have, like, all these special requirements for all the stages? There has to be, like, some that doesn't require any... What does Alraptor even qualify for? I... Um, can be decelled. Not that that's really too much of a uh, effect per se, right? Unfortunately. Okay, okay, there we go. Found one. Um, oh, 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 Tridangosaurus is a really good example um, of something that would usually kill raptors, but uh, Alloraptor would be very, very effective. So this is a very good example to show how great Alloraptor is, Tridangosaurus. And we'll just throw in something else just to destroy it. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So, let's start out with Alraptor. Wow, that poor HP man. Uh, Tijangosaurus. So, usually, what would happen in this scenario with a regular Raptor that can be decelled is you'll get Superior Striked, and then you'll get Thagomizered, and then you'll be you'll be dead. Right, <laughs> ninety percent of the time, this is what's gonna happen, and you can't really do anything about it. But with Alraptor, you can't get slowed, which is why it's um it's not as bad as your regular raptors, run-the-mill raptors, right? So that obviously helps. 
Um, turn one, you really don't have too many options. You're gonna pounce. They're just gonna, you know, usually security strike because you know there's no point using tagamizer. Either security strike or distracting strike. Both of them would be decent, right, in this scenario. Because you know, um, I, I, I think distracting strike would be slightly better. Distracting strike, security. But then again, hmm. I don't know. I don't have a calculator in front of me, so I'm not going to actually work out the numbers. But, you know, um, obviously, you do not want to use Thagomizer. Of all the moves, you don't want to use Thagomizer, right? Um, but, yeah, Tijangosaurus would, like, obliterate any other raptor, but would have uh, much trouble dealing with something like Alaraptor. Okay, it went for a Superior Strike. That's a, that's a good move on their part, right? Um, if this was any other raptor, I would now be slowed, and then it's going to Thagomizer, and then, well, deal a lot of damage to me. Or... Or, or they could, you know what, any, like, even with any other raptor, they can even use Thagomizer, right? Because even though Thagomizer, Thagomizer abs absolutely sucks against um, Alaraptor, but against any other regular raptor, you could Thagomize, and then distract, and then security, right? That would do much more damage and take it out, for the most part, right? So, again, um, that's just something, like, Alaraptor has the, the biggest advantage over any other random raptor. All right, we swapped in Marsupial Lion. Not sure why you do that, but uh, wow, it looks pretty cool when pouncing. It's a pretty, I, I like it, I like it, I like Alaraptor, it looks pretty cool. Um, I like Allosaurus, I like, uh, well, uh, never mind, I take it back, I don't like raptors. <laughs> Not a raptor fan. I mean, I always have to make this distinction because uh, my basketball, my favorite basketball team is the Toronto Raptors, but I'm not like a huge fan of the, the, the dinosaur raptors, right? Um, I think they're incredibly overrated. <laughs> and the depiction of them in Jurassic Park, even though they look really cool in Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park series, you know, in comparison to real life, they're kind of dorky, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and no offense to dorky people, you know. That dorky people are cool. Dorky dinosaurs are, uh, you know, could be better. <laughs> Anyways, let's, uh, let, let, let's try and fight, fight against this. Any, um, are these counterattackers or like are, oof, this would be a tough, tough battle for Alaraptor. Actually, actually it might not. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll throw it in there and, and see what happens. Because I'm not, I'm actually not sure if this would be a good or bad matchup for Alaraptor, honestly. Just throwing random legendaries <laughs> to fill in the space. All right, let's get how this plays out. Because Megalosuchus... I mean, I guess Megalosuchus really can't do anything. Megalosuchus should be a kill, but Giga Spica is a Giga Spica should all. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think this is a really really decent match. Uh, these are all really decent matchups for Alaraptor as well. So Alaraptor's biggest enemies, honestly, are just faster. You know, faster dinos that hit hard, right? Like an Erlodom, a Magna that are faster than him could potentially one or two shot him. Well, there aren't that many that could one-shot it, but, you know, that could potentially two-shot Alaraptor, right? And there goes Rajakaila, one of the worst legendaries in the game, unfortunately. It looks really, really cool. I love Rajakaila's design, but it's just absolute garbage, unfortunately. Um, yeah, this is going to do a bit more, but pounce just for the distraction so we don't get hit as much by. Um, although, mm, is that enough for running takedown to take it out, though? Oof, Rampage. Ouch. Yeah, that would have really hurt <laughs> if if the uh, rampage actually. Oh damn! Yeah, uh, I guess we should have went for a definite impact, then just so you know, we would take it out. Oh well, let's just go for traction then. Since none of them none of them take takes it out, let's just go for traction so we don't take as much damage, and then next turn we'll go for the kill, which hopefully would be enough. Well, it's definitely enough. Um, let's see if definite impact doesn't. Okay, we'll just use running takedown then. We'll go for running takedown. Yeah, this guy's just running through this team. Like, just a lot of, like, just slower dinos are do have trouble dealing with Alaraptor. Although, there are dinos that could absolutely destroy Alaraptor that are slower than it. Um, mainly dinos that could stun, right? Slower dinos that can stun Alaraptor, that's pretty problematic for Alaraptor, to say the least, right? So, those dinos will be an issue um, for, for Alaraptor as this thing counter is probably just going to kill me, uh, which is fine, I guess, but not really because, well, Alaraptor is dead. Let's see what Alaraptor looks like when it's dead. Okay, wow. <laughs> kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, 
stunners would be a problem for those you know dinos that are slower than than Alaraptor, right? Um, slower than Alaraptor, uh, but does have priority moves could potentially be a problem as well. And again, just faster dinos or like you know immune tanks, I guess, which is Ardonto. <laughs> Those are although you know Alaraptor doesn't do terrible against them. They just do a lot of damage. Here are the pens. Okay. Well, there we go. So swap into school source, which is terrible, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, this thing's garbage. Um There we go, that's Alraptor. Again, like its biggest counters you know, regularly would be still, you know, just faster the dinos that, that you know just could you know just obliterate it, right? Um, stuff like Earldom. Earldom just kills this thing, right? Earldom kills this thing. Magna should deal, you know, should fare very, very well against it, right? Uh, even, even stuff that aren't exactly, uh, immune, you know, you could go with Indoraptor, right? You could start out with Strike and then Cleansing Impact, whatever, right? Um, uh, that, that should do a decent amount, uh, uh, against it as well. Um... And and some other stuff, Dilorak, right? Dilorak should. Let's see, Alaraptor starts out with pounce. Dilorak Superiority Strike. Dilorak stuns. And Dilorak Rampage Run. Oh no, then Alaraptor is dead, obviously. But yeah, just a lot of dinos that are faster than Alaraptor. Most of them, Alaraptor can't really deal with them. But a lot of dinos that are slower than it. Um, it does decently well with like even some tanks like Just because uh, again, you know running takedown that's 60% plus you got to turn one pounds. So uh, it, it could do it could deal decently well with with most of the slower dinos, but again um, stun kind of kills it um, Bleed I guess is kind of an issue. It depends on the bleeder really right um, But other than that it, it should fare pretty well with a decent amount amount of the the dinos in the game right so alaraptor pretty interesting cat except it's not a cat but it's just you know it's just it's a saying <laughs> but uh yeah let me know what you guys think about alaraptor in comments down below again looks pretty cool for the most part personally i'm not gonna level it <laughs> i'm not gonna use it because uh, i don't want to waste my sanctuary items on freaking allogen 2 right because <laughs> i'm you know i'm not gonna put it on my team enemies but you know it's not terrible you know if you're in a mid tier or even you know mid to high. If you have the resources, go for it. It's not it's not a bad uh, dino at all. It's made from Delta and uh, Allogen too, which Delta I I would argue has got gotten slightly weaker re in, in recent patches. But hey, you know it's not like anyone brings Delta into the arena anyways. So anyways, uh, that's me for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, let me know what you guys think about Alaraptors. Comment down below. Like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to your channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.